Today, we're going to discuss the history of VMware SD-WAN and talk about some of the differentiators of the solution. For those who don't know, ultimately, the technology is powered by VeloCloud. When you start thinking about VMware SD-WAN, one of the things that people do ask is, is what makes it different? And so where VeloCloud was a little different was, yes, we did want to have the ability to use all links, but then is that we also can make a per packet decision. We viewed that the cloud was the future. So it wasn't the mentality of, I just want to have the ability to use the second link, which happened to be internet, to increase the throughput and availability of my traffic from an office to a data center. Yes, the VMware SDM product does do that, but at the same time, the founders of VeloCloud viewed it as everyone is going to the cloud. So how do we really develop the product and solution to help satisfy that requirement? So one of the things we did was we have cloud gateways at all the same major data centers as these cloud solution providers. But also more importantly, we also have the technology that we call DMPO, Dynamic Multipath Optimization. Now we have a whole nother session about it, uh, but from a very simplistic point of view, it allows us to reorder packets. So to help overcome issues with jitter, which is definitely very important when it comes to voice and video. And two, when we see packet loss, we send duplicate packets. So therefore it allows us to really clean up the link. And so you really need that because if you're going to move to the cloud, which ultimately means a lot of internet bound traffic, how do you improve upon that? So when the customers send the traffic from their location to the cloud SaaS provider, we happen to have a cloud gateway there. And all that traffic from the cloud gateway and the customer prem gets the benefits of our DMPO, which is a big differentiator because when you're talking to customers who are moving to SaaS or, or who have moved to SaaS and not just the traditional SaaS, but voice hosted in the cloud, critical applications in the cloud, with our DMPO, we can guarantee the quality of that link. And at the same time, which is kind of hidden and not really discussed is that the product itself has very low CPU resource requirements. And that has added to our ability to quickly develop as well as scale so we can support VNFs. And also now we're actually looking at, can we containerize the solution? So you can run multiple different solutions and products on the same hardware device. Now, just to quickly show uh, some of the benefits of DMPO. So for example, here, we actually have uh, introduced packet loss on the video link, showing how we can correct for that. And two, showing both DMPO as well as cloud gateway abilities. Here's an example where we are sending traffic from a location through two internet links to a SaaS provider, and in this case, box.com. So we introduced 2% packet loss. And then with the ability with DMPO, is that we also can make a per packet decision. What that means from a dual link perspective or multi-link perspective is it allows us to aggregate those links so it looks like a 40 meg link. So with all of those benefits, that's why you see that even on a pristine link, which you see in the upper row with no packet loss, we still show you improvement over file transfer because we can bond both links. Now let's say you introduce packet loss because we can fix for packet loss. You see that there is no loss to the throughput and the transfer speed. Whereas in the other situation without VeloCloud, you actually see a severe degradation of the transport. So I always like to show this because it's a great example of both DMPO as well as our cloud gateways. Now in summary, VeloCloud is ultimately the technology powering the VMware s 2 solution. We were built with the cloud in mind. So cloud gateways to help improve SaaS applications. And lastly, when you're talking to prospects and customers, know that innovation is not stopping. We're constantly still adding to the product and developing it for future growth and to answer and satisfy a lot of our customer requirements. So with that, thank you for joining me in this session and hope to see you in another one. Thank you very much.